This is from Genesis chapter 50, starting in verse 15. It says, When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, What if Joseph holds a grudge against us and pays us back for all the wrongs we did to him? So they sent word to Joseph, saying, Your father left these instructions before he died. This is what you are to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Now please forgive the sins of the servants of the God of your father. When their message came to him, Joseph wept. See, they still didn't trust Joseph. When it came right down to it, they still did not trust Joseph because they knew all the crap that they had done. And because of that, that was something they lived with every single day and could not let go. But Joseph, who was the person that was above all this, was so upset about this because he had chosen to put this all in the past. And so he has to turn back to them and he has to say something to them so that they will finally understand. Verse 18 says, His brothers then came and threw themselves down before him. We are your slaves, they said. But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. Stop for a second. God does not give us that spirit of fear. What he does give us is a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. And so here's Joseph sharing those same three things. But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. I think many days as a believer, we don't realize that our walk can actually save people's lives. When we imitate Christ, we are imitating eternity. And that is what we are called to do. To love others just as Christ loves us, and to go and to make disciples in His name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Think about it, pray about it, and then live it. And we'll see you tomorrow.